Welcome back. This video is on how to use AI, specifically ChatGPT in this case, to make descriptions and titles for your YouTube videos. And now something else. Just under a year ago, like three weeks under a year ago, I attempted to make this video, but things had changed. I just reviewed that video and I talked about other AI such as Google's Bard which is now Gemini, and there's different things that can be done. And also, YouTube has initiated its test and compare. So first things first, you want to create a good prompt, or a predictable prompt. You can always improve them, and I am using ChatGPT's free version. I haven't gone with Plus yet. I am going to play around with this for a while before I decide to make that decision. And this is the basic format of the prompt that I am using. It specifies the perspective of the AI. You are a YouTube expert. You need to create SEO enhanced titles and descriptions for YouTube videos or a YouTube video. And if you're making shorts, you may want to change it to YouTube shorts if there's any type of difference. And then the subject of the video and then a description of the video. So today I am working on this video here, which was copying files from an old laptop. Let's uh, go ahead and as you can see here, I just have my, my basic boilerplate description there with some of the affiliate programs I have and some disclaimers, some links. But let's get to the meat and potato of the description. Go back over to that prompt and fill in a description. So this is a synopsis of what this video is about. I'm copying files from a laptop that no longer functions. The specific directory is a working directory that includes program files for a YouTube streaming program using FFmpeg along with the YouTube videos documenting its creation. I'm using a SATA USB adapter to copy the files to my new Debian Linux laptop. So that includes what the video is about and then what was said. How can we get that? We can use a script or we can use the transcript from the video. And now I want to go down a rabbit hole to see what the entomology of transcript as compared to script is, see what the comparison is, but that will be have to wait for another time. Here is that video. And previously the transcript was found under these three dots. Now it's just save and report. And that's where I hit a wall a year ago is I, when I made the video, I did not realize they had moved it over here to the bottom. So you click show transcript and it shows it with the timestamps. I haven't played around with using it with the timestamps, which could come in useful and you may see in a moment, but I usually just toggle the timestamps off and just copy and paste. A word of advice is when you are copying and pasting, pause the video because it's constantly moving as it runs through that transcript. Things may jump around and just paste it. And then let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Okay, that's a simple title and description. Previously, it created long, elaborate descriptions, but I think the shorter descriptions may be better uh, suited. Recovering program files from YouTube projects on a dead laptop using say the USB on Debian Trixie. Now I didn't mention when I meant put that typed up that description that was Trixie that it got from the transcript. I think that's a good enough description. I'm gonna copy it and then go to the video details and paste it. Okay, so now I have the title. Now let's see if that description is worthwhile. In this video, I de demonstrate how to recover files from a non-functional laptop using, say, the USB adapter. The old system contains important program files for YouTube streaming project, FFmpeg configurations, video, and video content. That's relatively correct. I show the step step process of copying the files to my new Debian Trixie laptop and address issues, transferring special files, and directory paths. Watch for tips on recovering file errors and ensure everything works on the new system. Okay, that seems decent enough. And we copy that over and let's go ahead and save it. So now another thing you can ask for is if you had put the time prompts in, it can put chapter markers, but you can just ask. So you can recommend channel chapter markers. 
I will play with later, see how these fit into it, and I am almost certain that these timestamps are not going to work out because video is only seven minutes long but I did not include those that detail in the message. Now, the next prompt you can use would be to create something that is now available on ChatGPT, which is creating the thumbnail. So you can use the same concept where you say that you're a graphic designer, creating YouTube thumbnails, you need to create uh, thumbnails for a YouTube video, the subject is, you put that in, you put the transcript in, create a visually appealing video. Now, since it kind of has a memory of what you've already worked on. You can take this out and put in you to create a thumbnail for, for this YouTube video. And let's see what it comes up with. Now it created a square image, which, and it added some weird other things, but yeah, this is, will catch someone's attention. So let's go ahead, we'll download that first. It used to not put any words in there, but, and it's like, it's using the old YouTube logo, but it gives some visual aspects and you can use this as a starting point or create a second thumbnail using 16 by nine ratio. And it creates something using similar elements, but now it's 16 by nine. And what I generally do is I try to find some space and I will add other elements like my logo and maybe some AI generated faces stuff to get some attention. So we'll download this one. So I may just put the logo or something here because it's not a 17 minute video thinks it is. It's interesting that they puts these barrels here and if you've watched this video that I'm making the this thumbnail for and the follow-up video you'll see why it's referencing the tar command. YouTube's new test and compare you can take three different thumbnails. So you can use these along with other ones that you've created or like I said, it's convenient that with the free version of ChatGPT using Dolly, it gives you three options. Let's try to get something a little different. So you can put any other prompt, anything you want to add for your particular video, but I'm just going to create a third one. I'm specifying 16 by nine ratio thumbnail and design it for dark mode. Probably going to give me a similar color palette, but let's see. It did change the color scheme and it didn't create it 16 by nine, but I can work with that. And if you go ahead and subscribe, you'll see in the next video, I will be using Inkscape to enhance these thumbnails. So thank you for watching this video. You have a great day.